It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Good morning again. It is Monday again because it always rolls around, doesn't it? Quicker than you you want it to. Uh, We got a lot of news to tell you about, and yet again, we're starting with just an unbelievable, unbelievable news story. Yep. A second apparent assassination attempt over the weekend on former President Donald Trump. Perhaps you saw this yesterday. He is safe after shots were fired in his vicinity in what police call an attempted assassination. Uh, It happened on his golf course in West Palm Beach, Florida, yesterday afternoon. President Trump was rushed to safety One man is in custody. Here's what we know. An AK-47 rifle with a scope was found nearby along with two backpacks, a GoPro camera, all of them found in a bush right by the scene. A witness was able to take a picture of the guy's license plate as he was getting away. Uh, Then the guy sent it to police. They were able to track the suspect down. And uh, today, undoubtedly, we will learn much more about who that man is. Um, is and what went wrong well uh apparently on the golf course they send a hole ahead of where the president uh, former president <coughs> is on the golf course they send a secret service agent to scout it out and make sure everything's okay on the next hole yeah and he saw a rifle scope or a barrel sticking out of bushes so the shots were fired we know that and then secret service tackled the former president we don't know if the shots were the shots of the Secret Service agent shooting at the, the rifle barrel that he saw sticking out of bushes. Uh, that's still to be determined. Right. But I, I, it's just unbelievable to me that we've had two assassination attempts of a former president, maybe future president, in the last couple of months. I mean, it, it's yeah. we got to get our country under control. This is insanity. It is a new day. It's like a banana republic. We can't yeah. we can't live like this. Um oh. so yep, we'll find out today. Um, I was honestly surprised. So Ethan and I listened to the press conference and um last night, which I was surprised at how much detail they gave, to be honest well, it, with you. Yeah, it, well it was it was local police. They were able, based on the description, the wit. Thank God, a witness saw the guy run out of the bushes, get into a getaway car. The witness was smart enough to take pictures and get a license plate number. That Which helped was, police. That's exactly why they were able to like get him quickly because he was already into the next county, neighboring county. So he they had to that. like phone ahead, get him. I mean. It's, well, they've got it's those cameras. Remarkable, the license plate capture cameras, which you know right. they're the flock cameras. Is that what they're called? So yes. they got some flack in um, Springfield, or I think it was Nixa. Actually, wasn't it Nixa that initially like put them in? But yeah. I mean, in this case, it is a potential would-be assassin that they stopped. So, well, the cameras yeah. can spot a the, the cameras can spot a license plate that police are looking for, whether it's a warrant out, stolen car and the cameras spot the license plate, they ding the police who and tell them where it is so they can go get it. And that's exactly what happened in this case. Yeah. Um, all right, moving on. It appears the Mizzou Tigers are a rowdy bunch, and police are not happy about it. 23 people have been ejected over the last two ball games. In the first game, seven people were thrown out of there, primarily for intoxication or alcohol possession. And then in the second game, 16 people kicked out, primarily for alcohol again, but also vaping. Officers are cracking down, trying to put the uh, kibosh on all of that at the outset of the season. Well, they won again. So they're, uh, what, 3-0 and in the season? They beat Boston oh, yeah. College, who's also yep. ranked uh, this weekend. So uh, there's a lot to to be uh, rebel raisers about, I guess, <laughs> if you're the, the Missouri Tigers. They're not used to all this success. <laughs> Maybe that's it. They don't know how to that. handle it. Uh, 911 mapping system is getting a, an update, an upgrade in Wright, Howell, and Ozark counties. Uh, it's supposed to improve dispatch times and services in the area by improving accuracy of the addresses and the actual map. Uh, mapping engineers will be driving out through cities and towns to update apartments, mobile homes, businesses, all those addresses. So if you happen to see a big truck outside your house, it could be them or it could be 
the government eavesdropping on you. It could be lots of things. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, this is going on now through through mid October. So yeah. just heads up in those three counties, Wright, Howell, and Ozark. And if you're a hunter, some news: the Missouri Department of Conservation is requiring firearms and archery turkey hunters to purchase a hunting permit. Turkey permits are now separate from the normal archery tags hunters are used to. So it's a bit of a change if you're a turkey hunter. This fall fall turkey season is split into firearms and archery categories, uh, costing $14 for each of those required permits. And the numbers of birds that you can get has been reduced. Archery season for turkey hunting started yesterday through November thir- uh, 15th. Firearm season for turkeys is from October 1st through the 31st. So if you're a hunter, you probably already know about these changes. If not, you're welcome. All right. (laughs) Uh, Springfield has a new restaurant on the way. It is a fondue restaurant. Fancy. It offers a soup base that customers use to cook meat and vegetables. There are also various sauces. It's called Shabu Hot Pot. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. S H A B U Shabu hot pot. It'll be located on South Campbell near Andes across Campbell there from Sam's club. It's soft opening is this week starting today. And my hope for this fondue restaurant is that it's not insanely expensive. Well, I was looking at prices. It doesn't seem as though, I mean, it, it, 20 bucks a person roughly. So that's cheaper than melting pot because my uh, I took well you and I have been to a melting pot before my daughter and I went our daughter and I went up to uh, celebrate her in Kansas City and went to a melting pot and that was that was more than twenty a person I can tell you yeah yeah uh, but maybe it'll be maybe they're trying to make it affordable so people can go more often because melting pot is kind of a oh, a special occasion thing let's go yeah but. If I were a business, I'd want people in a little more regularly. Hey, listen, learn from Garth Brooks. Everybody, if you haven't watched the Garth Brooks documentary, I think we've talked about it before, but the reason he was selling out uh, concert venues, honestly, more than like the Beatles and the Eagles. I mean, he was like, it was insane. He was one of the first to start selling really cheap tickets. So he had the expensive tickets. But he also had very like twenty dollar tickets, fifteen dollar tickets, and he started selling out like crazy because the price was right. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, and he was apparently one of the first. That's what was news to me. Was I thought that that would be like a no brainer, I guess, but apparently not. So you know, some artists caught on after him, but he seems too old. You know what I mean to like be kind of one of the first to to have done that but well when i was going to concerts in my youth tickets were like 20 bucks yeah my first ever concert def leopard at the arena or the old checker dome in st louis now demolished uh yeah. that was like 20 bucks it was all the tickets were 20 bucks back then those were the days yep, yep. The, you could hear some good old rock and roll music uh, Kansas City, boy, the game yesterday. Did you see this? This was a wild. I, I I did not see all of it. I saw some of it here and there, bits and pieces. Yeah. But pretty. It was exciting. a wild ending and uh, a good one for the Chiefs. Kansas, and once again, Kansas City Chiefs kicker Harrison Butker is the hero in KC. He drained a fifty-one yard field goal. I mean, it was right down the middle. There was never a doubt. With three seconds left. And they were down at the time uh, to win the game for the Chiefs. So the Chiefs won by one, 26 to 25. If he misses that, the game's over, they lose. I was telling my boy, because he's a soccer player, and I'd like to get him kicking field goals at some point and, uh, and do the career that I should have done and, uh, and didn't. So I'm going to live We've through We've talked him. about this before. Uh, but, Ethan and Griffin, I will say this, because uh, I can say it better than you can, I think, um, has – insane accuracy it is so precise griffin from across the room last night hit me in the head with one of those um like plush it's a uh it's a chuck it but it's a soccer ball yeah it's it's this size i mean to tell you this is what i live with people this is what i live with (laughs) he hit me in the head before he hit you but it's impressive, right. to be honest with you. So anyway, so anyway, I, I, it, but the pressure, the pressure those kickers uh, are under, uh, you know, all you have to say, Harrison, run out there, 
If you make this from 51 yards, we win. If you miss it, we lose. Go ahead. There's only <laughs> yeah, 70,000 no people screaming and waiting for you, plus all the people on TV. Anyway, two penalties in the final minute against one against the Chiefs, one against the Bengals. Really, the difference in that game. If only one of those happens, uh, then it's a different outcome altogether. Uh, Kansas City uh, has won the last three against Cincinnati. And you want to stay tuned because we are giving away a Chiefs jersey this week. We will tell you how and whose jersey that is coming up in this podcast. So we're just a couple of minutes away at this point. Uh, and did you see uh, or hear about it at least? Branson's Haygood family got to perform the national anthem at the start of the Chiefs game yesterday at Arrowhood. Uh, the Haygoods announced their performance at their performance, their show in Branson Friday night, and then they shared it on social media. And then they took the uh, uh, the center of the field uh, to sing the national anthem yesterday. What an experience. That's, That's really cool. awesome. Yep. Good for them. Um, all right. A big announcement coming for Silver Dollar City. It is expected tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, but what we do know is they are once again looking to expand to uh, some 1,200 acres nearby the park. Now, based on what we know, um, there's a lot we don't know. Is the expansion just for Silver Dollar City or is this like all encompassing with the rest of their properties down in Branson? Uh, we're not sure. So we're going to find out again tomorrow at three. That's the big announcement. But of course, the Hershen Family Entertainment Group has Silver Dollar City, Whitewater, Dolly, uh, Dixie Stampede or Dolly Stampede. What's it now? They took Dolly Parton's yeah. Great Stampede. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pink Jeep Adventure Tours. Is that what it's called? I've never no, been to they, that I, one. I've been to all the Dixie, other ones. It's Dixie Stampede. Or uh, no, I took out Dixie. It's Dolly Stampede. <laughs> the Stampede, everybody. That one, you know, that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, also the pink Jeep adventure tours and then showboat Branson bell. So they own all of those. They are, uh, expanding and we'll let you know a lot more tomorrow. Um, what, this what, is fun for them. We, also. Well, we won't know tomorrow. We'll know, uh, we'll know Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow be... at three o'clock is going to be, well, oh, I know we go on, yeah, yeah. we're on the air at 5. AM tomorrow. Uh, yeah. What, what's crazy to me is that, uh, I was reading that silver dollar city currently is only a hundred acres. So they're going to expand it by 1200 acres. Yeah. Wow. So, I'm guessing, I don't know what, but I'm guessing there's going to be condos and those sorts of things that rental facilities, perhaps that people can stay on park property. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Cause that's, I mean, 1200 acres, that's a huge amount of space. Yeah. That's, that's imagine how much one lot. ride costs to, right. to build, to fill out 1200 acres. If the, if, if currently it's only a hundred, so I, I don't know, but that's my guess. Okay. Well, everybody stay tuned. There's your tease. Um, also, speaking of Sil Silver Dollar City, it deserves some congratulations. They won a big uh, golden ticket award, if if you will. Yeah. That is the Industry Awards. SDC's new Fire in the Hole was named Best New Family Attraction yeah. and Best New Attraction Installation by Amusement Today. Yeah. So that's exciting good. for them. That, yeah, good for them. Lots to celebrate. Being recognized by their peers, which is important. It is. That's it's a big deal. Yeah, I like industry awards. It's neat. Uh, speaking of industry awards, uh, the Springfield Business Journal's uh, what was it? 12, 12 businesses that were fast growing. Is that the is that what it was called? Probably I can't not. remember the name of it, but it was really cool. <laughs> Shut up. Something like that. It was just neat uh, to go get to see that. It's probably a month ago or so, but there's so many cool businesses in Springfield, many of which you've likely not even heard of uh, that are very impressive. So, um, I enjoy an industry standard award. Um, okay. Now to this, the contest, it is once again, time for the Branson bowl. And the keyword is adventure. The keyword is adventure. <laughs> you really do sound like the dude on TV. Um, okay. So we will be announcing this keyword Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on Thursday, we draw the winner. And on Friday, we announce the winner. This week's prize is a signed Jersey from chiefs hall of famer, Willie Rofe and Branson official vacation destination, the KC chiefs custom gear. So go to around the click on contest, click on Branson bowl. 
And then you'll need that keyword to enter to win. And um, it is a lot of fun to get to announce the winner on Friday mornings. Willie Rofe, nasty Willie Rofe. That's his nickname. He's nasty. Played 13 seasons in the NFL. First round draft pick in 93. So uh, in the most of the 90s, he was playing 11 time all pro. Uh, he became a pro football Hall of Famer in 20. 12 and he was a college football hall of famer in 2014 he played college at louisiana tech years nice. ago so nice really rough a a cool jersey to have get a hall of famer on your wall yeah like me yep it's cool it's very cool so make sure you enter to win and uh we are so thankful that you joined us this morning thank you for listening thank you for tuning in and we will see you back here tomorrow yeah we will yeah we will have a great day we wear our work day by day, stitch by stitch. At Dickies, we believe work is what we're made of. So whether you're gearing up for a new project or looking to add some tried and true workwear to your collection, remember that Dickies has been standing the test of time for a reason. Their workwear isn't just about looking good. It's about performing under pressure and lasting through the toughest jobs. Head over to Dickies.com and use the promo code WORKWEAR20 at checkout to save 20% on your purchase. It's the perfect time to experience the quality and reliability that has made Dickies a trusted name for over a century. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Rescue Towing and Command Family Medicine. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Monday. We are going to have a great week in the Ozarks, but summertime is kind of back in the Ozarks this week. I have a lot of very warm temperatures in this forecast and the warming trend. It begins today. A little bit of rain on the radar last night, primarily for our eastern counties, but overall the weekend conditions were very nice, weren't they? We had nice cloud cover across the region, kind of got a little toasty on Sunday, but overall nice weather for the Ozarks, very limited with the rain chances. At this point, we could use a little bit of rain. We'll hold on to just a slight chance for some showers today. It's only about 20% and it is only for the eastern Ozarks. So that's where we're looking at the rain chance across the region today. There is going to be some rain on the radar across the nation out on the east coast. We have another batch of rain out west and even some snowfall showing up on the weather map today for the high elevations out west. We, well, don't have that much active weather. It's really kind of a holding pattern for us as a ridge of high pressure is still in control of our weather pattern this week. But what it will mean for us is that there is a slight chance for rain today for the eastern Ozarks only. Really areas east of Highway 65 have the best chance for rain and storms. It's not a slam dunk though. Again, about a 20% chance for rain. It means that most stay dry in the forecast even today, and it will be yet another dry week in the Ozarks. So if you still have a garden hanging on, you're going to need to do some watering this week. We have the summertime heat and the dry conditions. A warming trend also begins this week, and today we'll see temperatures back in the 80s after a comfortable start with numbers in the low 60s this morning. High temperatures, they're going to be pushing 90 a couple different days this week. It will be hot. It will be mostly sunny. And I think even by Friday, we have temperatures that are still hanging out in the upper 80s. We have that slight rain chance in the forecast today, then dry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. High temperatures will be in the upper 80s on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we're also in the upper 80s, pushing 90 degrees. I think we'll probably have a few low 90s out there by Thursday. And then by the time Friday rolls back around, we will likely see a small chance for rain re-enter the forecast. And hopefully that will mean some cooler weather for us as we get into next weekend's forecast. I expect high temperatures today will have a bit of a range, but generally we'll land at the low 80s. I'm going 83 for the high temperature in Springfield today. Around the country, what's making headlines, it's heavy rain for portions of the southeast. Also portions of the southwest are getting a lot of activity today. A coastal storm is bringing rain to the Carolinas and the mid-Atlantic. That's beginning today, lasting through tomorrow and Wednesday. So heads up if you're heading to the east coast. Also, I mentioned the snowfall, that high elevation 
elevation snowfall is expected for the Sierra Nevadas beginning today, lasting through tomorrow. So as the cooler weather starts to work its way in, we're going to see those things become a bit more common. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia question for the day. The question that I left you with last week, did you know it? The first hockey pucks were used in early outdoor hockey games. What were they made of? The options were A, rubber, B, wood, C, frozen cow dung, or D, ice. And if you wondered, like, why did she put in frozen cow dung as an option? Like, that's got to be the answer, because why else would that be an option? You are correct. (laughs) It is C, frozen cow dung for outdoor hockey. Uh, gross. The first hockey pucks though were made from frozen cow dung and leather liver pads, whatever that is. Uh, these very early pucks had a lifespan of about one game because they started to get too soft, uh, for playability. So they were replaced with wooden ones eventually, but the originals cow dung kind of gross. Uh, I would not want to get my teeth knocked out with one of those. I wouldn't want to get my teeth knocked out with anything, but especially with frozen cow dung, that just makes it a whole lot worse. C, the answer though. So congrats. If that was your guest, you are entered to win that $50 gift card to Habaneros on South Campbell. Here's the question that I'll leave you with for Tuesday morning. What vegetable was originally purple? Do you think it is A, potato, B, carrot, C, onion or D cabbage. I'll have the answer for you. That's tomorrow morning on around the Ozarks wake up weather. Thanks so much for starting off your week with me here. I hope you have a fantastic day and thanks to command family medicine and rescue towing for sponsoring around the Ozarks wake up weather. If you're a facilities manager at a warehouse and your HVAC system goes down, it can turn up the heat literally, but don't sweat it. Granger has you covered. Granger offers over a million industrial grade products for all your operations, including warehouse HVAC maintenance. And even better, they offer access to experts and fast delivery, so you and your warehouse can both keep your cool. Call 1 800 Granger, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.